Hey guys, thanks for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. Today we have one of our very own newest staff member, Chantel, to share us one of her recipes that made her very successful in our belly burn challenges. Hello Neri, thank you for having me. Um, today I would like to share my shrimp Buddha bowl. Um, I chose this recipe because it has a lot of uh, protein, high protein, and I'm a seafood lover, so I chose shrimp, but you can choose any kind of protein, any kind of meat that you'd like. If you're a vegetarian, you can do the same thing. I chose this rice. Um, you can use the other quinoa too, but I prefer this one because it has a lot of, uh, a little bit more taste to it than the, the other quinoa. And so I've already pre-did the rice and my veggies. And um, the only thing I have left to do is cook my shrimp. Um, Neri, will you uh, help me with, uh, we can prep the, the, uh, the quinoa and the vegetables while I do the shrimp? Sure, but Chantelle, can you just tell us what is a Buddha bowl exactly? Like uh, what's it? What's a Buddha bowl? Of, yeah. Uh, Buddha bowl is more of, it's one bowl that can, you can have everything in one bowl uh, to, to eat instead of having like, you know, soup here and a different meat here. It's just all in one. Okay, so that's what you're I, just building your proteins, your, yes. your starches and your veggies. Yes. Awesome, yep. okay, so let's get started. All right, so I will do, I will make my shrimp. Okay. And for my shrimp, I like to use the extra virgin olive oil. What did you marinate the shrimp in? I marinated it with um, lemon, pepper, and smoked paprika. Okay, that's it? Yep, yep that's all I put in lemon, here. Lemon, pepper, smoked paprika. Smoked paprika, yes. But uh, with the seasoning, you can use whichever you prefer. Like some people like using Italian seasoning in there. Sometimes some people like using... Um, pepper? Yep. Any, any seasoning is fine, but I just prefer just for myself because I, I like the, the spiciness of the smoked paprika. Mm -hmm. And I find that the smell, it okay. just, you can smell it like it's just that aroma. It smells smoky. Yeah. Okay. So Neri, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna get you to help me uh, assemble the Buddha bowl. First, we need to put the quinoa, so a, a cup of quinoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Okay, and then just good. put it down, yes. All right. Okay. What I normally do is you I like would put just bottom? put it at the bottom. Oh, okay. Just like spread so it out. we're building layers. Yes, we're building okay. layers. I like to use kale and butternut squash and asparagus. My reasoning is because these are my vegetables that we have at home because my family likes to eat it. So I always have it, but you can use any kind of vegetables of your choice. Okay. So it could be like cucumbers. Some people use carrots. Avocado. Avocado. Some people like using tomatoes. So pretty much anything that you like, Maybe you can you have make on hand it. That your family will eat basically. Yeah. So then next we would put. I'll get you to put the the kale. Kale How in. Much kale? Um, oh, sorry. Put the half a cup of kale. Oh, cup? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Half a cup of kale. You can put it wherever you like on there. Let's pack this. Let's get lots of greens here. Yes. Because we make friends with salad on Mary's kitchen. <laughs> well, I do anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And then for my kale, what I did was I sauteed it with some olive oil and Dijon mustard just for the Dijon taste. Dijon mustard? Yeah. I have to try that. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. It gives it a different taste mm -hmm. instead of just uh, the kale itself, mm -hmm. right? And then next, the asparagus, you can kind of just eyeball. So what I like about there. butternut squash is that it's sweet, so it adds that sweetness, yes. but it's actually lower in carbs than a yam. Oh, we didn't know that. No, I did not yeah, know that. Quite really? a bit lower. That's okay, it. so we have our butternut squash and then asparagus. And asparagus, yes. Same amount? Yeah. So the last thing we put in is the shrimp, which I just sauteed in the pan. So Neri, if you would like to, uh, you could just either use this or if you want to use that, just to put it in the Sure. Am I using the whole thing? Yes, please, yeah. All of it, okay, so yeah. this looks like it's about 15. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Thank you. 15. No, oh, quite a bit of shrimp. Yeah. So it's just like a, a smaller shrimp. So mm -hmm. usually if it's the, the bigger ones, then I would say about five to 10 
pieces of shrimp, I would say, but because this is a smaller one, we can put quite a bit in. And then the next and the very last is our Dijon mustard. Okay, how much mustard? Um, you can just put as much as you like, but I would say put uh, maybe just a spoon and just kind of drizzle over and okay. taste it first, just in case, okay. because some, some people don't like it too spicy and some people like it spicy, oh, right? Oh, I like so, it spicy, same with your rum too. Yeah. Okay, awesome. There you go. And this is my Buddha bowl. this is it? So yes, Chantel, yeah. can you tell me roughly how many calories are in this bowl? For this Buddha bowl, it comes to about roughly 389 okay, for the calories bad. and uh, 40 no, forty grams of protein. 40 grams of protein, wow. Yes. Well, you know what I like about this is that yeah. the quinoa actually has some added protein. I'm not sure it if does. people know that, but it has added protein. Wow. And what I like about this bowl, Chantel, is that it's so easy to build your own. Yes. And if someone doesn't like a certain ingredient, you can always just omit it and put whatever ingredient you like. Yep. So it's very versatile, actually. Yeah. That's why I like making Buddha bowls. It's, the, it's my to go to when I run out of things to make at home, usually. I just be like, this is the best thing. And you have all this stuff in the fridge already. And sometimes it's leftover from your dinner before. You have mm -hmm. some shrimp leftover and you can make it. It's very easy, simple, and fast to make. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Chantal, for sharing us your recipe on how to make this beautiful. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. We'll see you next week. All right. Thank you. Bye.